And today I'm going to show you how to sew a bow koozie. Now you're probably thinking, well, what the hell is a bow koozie? Let me show you. This. This is a bow koozie. Okay. It's to keep your bowl in here when you put it in the microwave. And it's to keep your hands from getting burned or your hands from getting really cold when you put like your ice cream bowl or your bowl from, if you pull it out of the microwave, um, from getting burned. Like if you heat something up, you take it out and you put it in this thing. So I'm going to teach you how to make this. And it actually is super simple once you like get in the groove of it. Your first one or two, you might be like a little wonka doodle. But after that, I mean, seriously, you'll be on a roll. Okay. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some fat quarters. <laughs> and I hate that name, fat quarters. Like it's almost like fat daddy, but you're going to need some fat quarters. And you can get two out of some fat quarters. But I'm going to show you the really easy way to do it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Now I already have most of my stuff cut because nobody likes to watch anybody cut something. That's boring as all get out. So this video is really kind of short, sweet, to the point. Like me, 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 to the point. Okay, you're gonna need two matching, coordinating, color, whatevering squares. Okay. So I'm gonna do this one since everybody on my tiki taki love this one. This set. All right. You're going to need like two coordinating colors and you're going to cut them in 10 inch squares. So it doesn't matter what color fabric doesn't matter. They could be like two, just pick two of your favorite patterns and cut them in 10 inch squares. So you're going to need 10 inch fabric squares. Okay. So pause and go get you some 10 inch squares. All right, then you're going to need some 9 inch, which that's what I'm having a problem finding. Because I had it cut, but look, uh, may yes indeed, I can't find it now. Here we go. <laughs> then you're going to need 9 inch batting. Okay, so 10 inch cloth and 9 inch batting. Okay. Ta -da. If you don't know what nine inch batting is, oh, sweetie petite, go to the store, go to Joanne's and say, I need some batting. But it's like the fluffy stuff that goes in your um, quilt or whatever. So it keeps y'all nice and warm. Okay. So you're going to need a 10 inch square, a nine inch batting. Okay. And you're going to put them together like this. Or you're going to center it. Mine, I didn't center it yet. Okay. Now I'm going to move you. Hey. All right. Now this is what you're going to do. You're going to make a crisscross applesauce. Now y'all might shake a little bit, so I might have to move you. But what you're going to do is you're going to make a crisscross applesauce. I know one way to sew. Wide open. Okay. So this is going to be like. Don't judge me. I mean you can't judge me. But I don't care. Okay. You're going to just crisscross. You're going to go corner to corner. And of course, my cloth on the other side is bunching it. There we go. Okay. Make sure you backstitch a little bit. And then, oh, my thing didn't pick up right here. Hold on. And then you're going to do the other side and just. All the way to the corner. And make sure you backstitch. 
when you go. Okay. So it should look like a cross, like crisscross applesauce. And you're going to do the same thing, okay, with your other one. Now, look, I had a bunch of these, like, pre-made, but I don't have one right now. So you're just going to have to watch the crisscross applesauce again. And that's for all the people who are like, wait, how did you do it? Wait, what'd you do? Wait, what's it? It's a cross weight. What kind of cross is it? What kind of religion? What? This is this is what you're doing. Okay. So you're just taking your cross. That might shake a little bit. Cause my machine shakes the whole table. And you're just gonna back this shoe. Did you know if you push your pedal when you backstitch, it'll go 90 to nothing also? Did not know that. All right. <clears throat> this is the only difficult part. It really isn't difficult. But this might be the part where, like, everybody's like, wait, what do you do? But don't freak out. All right. You're going to take your section that you did okay all right you're gonna fold it in half pretty to pretty to where the batting is facing you and just fold it in half okay you're gonna do the same thing with the other section see all these little whiskery pieces i hate those they drive me Okay, and fold it in half. Now you're going to get a ruler. I don't care what kind of ruler you get. Get any ruler, okay? Get get your mama's ruler. Get a great sewing ruler. Get a... I don't care what ruler. Just get a ruler. Okay, I'm, I usually use this little mat thing, okay? But I'm going to show you how to use this ruler. All right. I'm going to... I don't know how to turn you. Okay. You're going to take your ruler and you're going to go one inch by two inch. One inch up, two inches over from the corner of your fabric. Okay. One inch up, two inches over. Let me see if I could flip you. Oh, sorry. You're so close to me. Okay. So look, you're going to go one inch up which is right here, okay? I'm gonna have to move it just a little bit. And two inches over, which is right here, okay? So one inch is up, two inches over. Then you're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna just connect the dots. Now you could draw a whole line, but I just draw like a dot in the middle like that. Okay? But you could draw a whole line because you're going to sew on this line right here. Okay? And do the same thing over here. You're going to go one inch up. And then count two inches. One, two. Two inches over. And then just connect those dots. And I just put a little dot in the middle. That way I know, like, that's my sew line. Okay? All right, everybody good? If you're not good, message me and I'll video you and show you. Okay? But you just go one inch up, two inches over. You're going to do that on both, both pieces of fabric. So one inch up, two inches over, connect them with a little dot in the middle, one inch up, two inches over, connect them. Okay, now, I did this the other day and this helped me. Undo it, like unfold it and fold it again the other way. 
and do it again. This is going to be your darts. Okay, so do it again. One inch, two inch, and then mark it. It'll just be marked to where you don't have to mark it once it's sewn. Okay? So one inch, two inch, and then you mark it. And I know people are going to say, God, you make it look so easy. Once you get in the swing of things, it really will be easy. So you unfold it, you fold it. Okay? You're going to go right back to one inch, two inch, and then connect the dots. Okay? One inch, two inch, connect the dots. Okay? Everybody good so far? All right. So basically, if you look at your little batting, you should have like four little marky spots on your batting. That's going to be like where it, where it like bunches together. All right. All right. Now you're going to fold it at one of your little marky mark in the funky bunch spots. Okay, now this is what you're going to do. On this, starting with this corner, you're going to just zip and sew straight down that line. Okay, like sew on that little triangle. So, and don't forget to back stitch. And it should look like that. See how you just sewed, connecting the dots? You're going to go to the other one and do the same thing. And I literally sew wide open. So, so now your little thing should have two little darts. Okay, now you're going to open it and it should kind of look like a It should look like a half done bowl koozie. Okay. Now you're going to fold it where those dart were, where those darts are, that are already marked. Because we were proactive. And you're going to sew them there too. Because now you don't have to mark them with it already being so, and that helps a lot. It also keeps them really even. So now you should have four little bunchies. And it should kind of look like a half done bowl. Okay. So you're going to take your other one. And you're going to do the same thing. So fake like there's like really cool music playing. And just do those real quickly. And if you want, fast forward this like two minutes. And you should be at the right spot. When it's a replay. But right now it's live. So all you people watching this live, sucker. Y'all can give this video a thumbs up. And you can leave a nice comment. If you're watching it live, if you're watching the replay, then just fast forward it a minute or so. But if you're watching this live, just grin and bear it. That's what you have to do when you're watching it live. And to think, just a few days ago, I was nervous as all get out to make this. And now, pro. Well, maybe not pro, but I can make them very well and fast. Okay, let me show you something real quick. I went way above my line, way above my line, and that's not gonna be okay. So I'm gonna have to seam rip that real quick. Because I wasn't paying attention. 
to be honest. So I'm going to have to rip that real quick. Sorry. I just, I wasn't paying attention. And that's what happens. We say we're learning today. <laughs> and that's what happens. And you just see him rip it out and you just go back at it. <laughs> and it wasn't really that far off, but at the same time, it will make a difference. If your darts aren't like kind of a really good close enough on. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So now you're going to have. Let me move all this back. Sorry. All right. Now you're going to have two pieces that have the little folded edges. Now this is going to cause some of you some anxiety, but just deal with it. You're going to take this little edge and you're just going to cut it. That's that extra dart piece. You should have four of them. Make sure nothing's in that little nook because you don't want to cut any extra fabric. Make sure it's flat. You want to get you some good scissors. Don't get you any wonky, you know, scissors that people have been cutting paper with. Okay. See the beginning of the bowl koozie? Eh? You sewed that. If you're sewing with me, you sewed that. If you're not sewing with me, why not? What's your problem? Get you some sewing stuff. If you don't have a sewing machine, sew it by hand. Moses didn't have a sewing machine. I mean, I don't think Moses made bow koozies either, but I don't think he had like a microwave to fear the heat for his hands, but you could still. This could also be like a little trash bowl. Like, look, you could put all your little sewing scraps in. I'm just saying, I could just give you all kind of ideas. Moses maybe, maybe use that for his, for his sewing scraps. All right. Now you're going to take and put the pretty side out. Okay. And the pretty side out. No. Pretty side out, pretty side in. It's where it's going to be like pretty to pretty. All the pretty people together. Okay? To where you should be able to touch fuzzy on both sides. Okay? So you should be able to touch fuzzy on both sides. That's what you should be seeing. Now you're going to sew these edges together, okay, whatever stitch you want, sew both of these edges together, and you're going to want to kind of like grouch it and finger it a little bit, and scrouch it down and make sure the edges kind of line up a little bit to where it makes just the right bowl, bowl shapes where it lines up, and then you're going to want to just go right on in and start sewing. Remember to leave one edge open to where you can flip it okay and i'm going to put you right here to where i can sew and you can see and this i go a little bit slower because the shape of the koozie is just a little odd okay so i'm just gonna go at it And you just want to, every now and then, just check it and make sure your little areas are lining up. And I like to just make sure that they're not bunching and not getting 
kind of wonka doodle if I feel like they are I just put a back stitch and then I just turn it I try not to lift my needle too much but if I have to I will and I do but I try not to Oi. Come on, little piece. And sometimes you have to like re, re like, um, what do you call it? Like this lady called it petting. Like you have to re-pet your thing, like re-put it and re-get it together. Like re-bunch it or whatever. have to duck and weave as you go. I want to make sure I got this little didn't get this little turnpike right here. one of these sides and then we're going to flip it and it should be almost ready all right now we're going to flip it so you take the side that's still open and now you're just gonna I just left like one little corner of the dart and you're gonna poke your corners out some people can leave an itty bitty hole I am not that person I am not that some people I need a good size hole some people can leave like teeny tiny little itty bitty holes I'm not that person and then as you see the little baby, baby things, clip them as you go. I clip as I go because they bother me. Some people don't clip as they go. I do. And you're going to now put it on whatever side that you like like the most or don't like the most or whatever that you want to see and then they say go from your hands like this okay then you're gonna take your side that you didn't close and you're gonna like make like a lip so you're gonna like push it in a little bit and make like a bunchy lip to where it kind of closes. I'm showing you like this. To where it makes like a little bop, bop, bop. Okay? Like a mouth. And I didn't sew this all the way over here, I must have pulled it off sooner than I thought. And there you have your very own little ice cream or hot food bowl koozie. And other than the cutting, you could see it should take you only about 30 minutes to make. It shouldn't take you long. So there you go. And if you're cutting off your little Irish pendants right here, like these little snippets, it should take you maybe a little bit longer. 
And if you need to get these little corners out a little bit better, but it shouldn't take you long. It should take you about 30, 35 minutes. Um, 45 with cutting your fabric and stuff. But, and you should be able to get about two of these out of a fat quarter. So, there is your bowl koozie. I hope you had a good little sewing lesson. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.